Hi, friends. It's Inkman. I mean, it's Inkman forever. Uh, I should stop saying that. But realistically, I don't know what day it is until I look at my previous day's swatch. Okay, so it's day 10 yesterday. Um, did we look at this up close? Maybe we did. So, Evolved Emerald, which dried to more of an emerald. Surprising to me. Maybe to everyone. Um, so, that was the 10th. That must mean today's the 11th. Uh, I just got out of bed. And... So, of course, I don't know what day it is. But Inkman will tell me. Okay, so this is called Glacier. And, of course, it has to have shimmer. Oh, gosh. We put that right in there, didn't we, Maria? Of course, you have to have shimmer. This says it is... Ooh, it's a new thing. Can you read that? I can't. I don't know if it's because of my glasses. It says Star Bright. Starlight, Star Bright. Y'all know that? I don't think I've got it out forever, but just reading Star Bright brought it all back. It's all coming back to me. So I watched, I'm like so behind in watching videos, but also I didn't mention it either when I saw it. Um, I watched Chris Sane's video to use a um, seam ripper to open these, which I thought was brilliant, except if you actually sew, that will dull your seam ripper. And I was like, this is a great idea, but I can't afford to do that. I like my seam rippers. I mean, I have a few. Maybe I just need a new one and then I can not care about the one I have, but I do care. And here we are. Um, ink vent. Day 11. So this color is Glacier, Glacier. I say Glacier, what do you say? You're like, whatever. Oh, we finished a week, full week. Turn the page. Man, you can just really feel that glass pin. How about you get the stuff and do it now, today, not right this second. Cause I'm busy. That's why. That's why it doesn't happen. Glacier. Glacier. Okay. You can hardly even see this line. We know the drill, don't we? Cover it again, shake it again. This does seem to settle fast. It seems like it might be thick. Or chunkier, chunkier, not sure. Well, that's a lot on there. You're gonna have to cover it and shake it again, Maria. Might as well cover it now. <sighs> this has like a liquid metal look when it's going down. Like super shimmery. I don't know if that'll pick up. Oh man, when I dipped it in the water glass, the like shape of the pin swirls stayed on the surface for a minute. When the ink swirl, like words are not my friends. 
This reminds me of a Birmingham pin shimmer, like Cranberry Twinkle, where you almost can't see the ink because the shimmer is so intense. Um, like, I almost want to sift out some of the shimmer in that ink, which feels like heretical, but it's my ink. I can do what I want with it. There's some grossness, I think some kind of fuzz got on my paintbrush. A little more. Yeah, it falls out of suspension pretty quickly. Probably not surprising since it seems so saturated. I'm gonna remember not to dry out or wash out this so that I can do the front with it. This is in an obscene amount of shimmer. It's pretty. It almost looks like the blue from day Three. No, this blue is tealer. That's a word. It, of course it's a word, I just said it. So here we are, day 10, 11, day 11, <laughs> glacier, super shimmer. Um. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. In this writing, so I am seeing the writing in an angle. In an angle, it just looks silver. Dead on, to me, you know, it almost reads as yellowy or gold somehow. Maybe because the blue is like a warmer tone coming through. Not sure. But I don't know. I don't know what I think of it. I don't know if I'll end up using it much or not. What do you think? I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.